Hey everybody, how's it going? Just wanted to come to you and share. I'm out in the, I'm out in the woods and I'm scouting for some black bears. We got a great wildlife workshop coming up this June. For all the details, check the link below or email me directly at bob at bobanddawndavis.com. So I'm just looking in the woods here. Although here in Illinois, it's sunny, 77, we're going into twilight. This is the time of day when bears come out, other animals come out, they like to forage at sunrise and sunset. I got a couple cubs up in the trees over here, even though I'm in Illinois. Up in the north woods in Minnesota where we're going, they still have snow on the ground. Can you believe that? It's just crazy. Here, if you have any questions, drop them in the feed. I'm gonna come over here and grab the camera and show you the viewfinder on my on my R5 here and what we got going on let's see can I flip I can flip the camera here we go so look at that right couple of cutie bears look at that we got the eye detection going on right there beautiful beautiful light right amazing amazing so if you want to walk with bears in their environment and come with me to see some pelicans fishing in white water and then do some cool landscape photography, hit me up with my email below and let me know if that's something that floats your boat. We just wrapped up, oh, sorry, distracted. An eagle just flew overhead. Um, we just finished up a huge, huge, huge gala that we did last week. And this is the way I reset myself and this is the way I, I center myself and come back to calm is getting out in nature and wildlife. You know, this just brings me right back down to gear me up for, you know, the other things. So let's see, anybody out there? Brooke Bailey, how you doing? Michael Wicker, how are you? You guys got any thoughts, any questions? You interested in wildlife? You want to join me on a bear safari? And, and keep in mind, if you're a cannon shooter, if you come on our workshops, we can get these big white lenses and you know you guys can borrow equipment right from Canon, get you into the uh, CPS, Canon Professional Services. So that'll be outstanding. So let me know what you'd like to see, what you wanna hear. Uh, there's all kinds of things we do with the bears. We're in their habitat. As I just shared with you, those are spring cubs going up a tree. But in reality, let's let the cat out of the bag. I'm here in Illinois. I'm just a little bit away from my house, <laughs> but I wanted to get you know people excited about wildlife. So here's what we got going on. Here's the print that I did from last year <laughs> of a couple of spring cubs up a tree in the north woods of Minnesota. And I just talked to my contacts up in northern Minnesota. The bears are still in their dens because they have a lot of snow going on there. And this is just a nature wetland area near my home. This is where I come to photograph eagles, coyotes, foxes, all kinds of birds and wildlife. And here's uh, another photograph I took from last year. This was a yearling cub. You know, he's, he's probably just been pushed out by his parents and he's having to forage on his own. So he's a little bit shy and he was playing hide and seek with me in the sanctuary. And this, this here is kind of a no-no. When we're with the bears, you don't want to be on a tripod, right? Down low, because they find that curious. You're something different. So you always want to be able to stand up, be safe, we're with a guide. Everybody has to attend a bear safety class. So everything, the safety is there, not only for us, but for the animals as well. So there's no incidents that happen. So again, if you guys wanna learn more about our wildlife excursions and what we do, click the link below or email me at bob at bobanddawndavis.com. And if you have any thoughts, questions, concerns for gear, how to pack, how to photograph in this type of situation, let me know, I'm here to help. All right, have a great evening. Hope to see you guys out on our bear safari. And I will also put a link to our African safari. If that's more your jam, we are going on a purpose-driven 
African Safari. And what I mean by a purpose driven is that our primary goal is to photograph and tell the story of the Super Tusker elephants. I don't know if you're aware, but there's a different DNA strand of Super Tuskers. And what those guys are, are elephants whose DNA uh, genetically predisposes them so their tusks grow their entire life. Currently, there are less than 30 mature breeding males left in the world due to poaching and hunting and big game and you know ivory market, all that kind of stuff. Kenya has put a ban on big game hunting. So these elephants, the population that's left of the super tuskers are protected. And my goal with these photographic workshops is not only for everybody to have a great experience and get amazing photographs, but to get in touch with nature and everybody has their own audience. So with your photographs, you can reach out to many more people and make them aware of the biodiversity in our planet and that we have the power to not let another species go extinct. It's not too late. And there still is something that could be done if we all pull together. There's the Savo Trust over there. They're doing great things. There's many other elephant sanctuaries there. While the general elephant population is thriving, if you'll notice photographs of those elephants, their tusks are getting smaller and shorter. And uh, some biologists believe that in the you know, very near future, probably within our lifetime, we'll see elephants born without tusks just because they've been hunted and poached and that DNA strand is getting less and less passed forward through breeding. So we're hoping to raise that awareness and get some stunning photographs of these super tuskers. So again, join us for that and join me in the northern woods in June where we will see and walk with some black bears. So I hope to see you guys later. I am gonna go check on some wood ducks that just landed. All right guys, have a great evening. Happy Saturday.